Three, two, one, begin. Nice. Good morning and welcome back to another episode of the First Off the Tee podcast. It is 5.30 a.m. Nice. Thursday morning, episode 12. We got a lot going on. You can see it on the table. Doug, let's get right into it because yeah. I don't know if this 18 minutes is enough to <laughs> contain enough everything we're going to talk about today. Let's do it. Let's go. Okay, first off, uh, as you guys know, we have a new brand sponsorship, Advent Golf. We just did an unboxing and review of their belts. Doug, you got the, that's the called the Mamba belt mm-hmm. with, with the gray strap. I got the Glacier with the white strap. These things are spectacular. Uh, comment down below if you watched Last video that I just posted last night where I reviewed Mm -hmm. the belts, comment down below on this video how many times I said spectacular in that review. It must have been like 15. I just just kept saying that. I'm like, this thing is spectacular. The build quality is spectacular. I just said it so many times because I was so pumped about it. I I love the ratchet style. Yeah. I have another belt like that. I love it. What is that? Ratchet, love I've it. I've never had a dedicated golf belt. Mm-hmm. I've always just worn my regular what belt. One you got? Um, but this thing, I mean, it's it's meaty. Though. Yeah. It's thick. It's it's, it's a solid, uh, good construction. But you'll see in the thing. And hey, thanks, Advent Golf. Yeah. Thank you guys, Advent Golf. If you guys want to pick up uh, one of these one of these belts for yourself, go to adventgolf.com and use code Rob E V G ten at uh, checkout for ten percent off uh, your purchase. Excellent. I'll put all the cool. details in the in the video description. Beauty. Um, okay, that's the first thing out of the way. Thank you, Advent. Second thing, episode 12, we are doing the Vice um, giveaway. Oh, nice. So just a quick update on the channel. So the whole reason we ran this mm-hmm. uh, little giveaway is because we were quickly approaching uh, 100 subscribers when we started uh, on YouTube. Yep. When we started the, the contest, we were at 90 subscribers. Today, we sit at 112. Mm. So thank you to the 22 people who um, who subscribed. Um, most likely... Most recently, of, and plus everybody else who subscribed. Well, the right? first... Yeah, yeah, the first 90, those were our, you know, our off-the-jump supporters. Yeah. So thank you to you guys. And uh, I hope you entered the contest by um, tagging your friends in the, in the Instagram um, post. But now we have... All of the people who entered, which like I said, you had to tag uh, three buddies mm-hmm. on the Instagram post and then just be subscribed to the YouTube channel. Excellent. So Doug, I'm going to have you pull these names live. Okay. There's going to be four lives. Um, first off the tee, we get a cup of coffee for this one. Just want to make sure. Yeah, they're all up. Just make sure that they're mm-hmm. all How many are we there. pulling? What, what? We're gonna pull four winners. So oh, I'm gonna. This is unopened. The plastic is still on. We're gonna gonna, gonna give away uh, the all four sleeves that are. In oh, there. nice, nice. All right, Doug. All right, let's get to it. We we, we have uh, a lot of time here, right? So I'm gonna take that. Yeah, read it. Oh, let's see it. Come on. Read that. Wow, this is uh, the real Donnie. Oh, nice. All nice. right, congratulations, Donnie. The real Donnie. Uh, let's try this one. Wow, this one is Rick Borgo. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. I think I know that guy. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's see. I'll take this one. This looks like uh, J Med. J Med, nice. J-Med. I went, he uh, went to uh, don't to know college that with that guy. He's and down. One more. Nice. Who is this? Uh, Chris something. That's a long. Christina Lombardo. Oh, Christina <laughs> Lombardo. <laughs> that is that is funny. So congratulations, Rick. Rick. Uh, John and Chloe. So that's actually kind of funny. Rick, Excellent. Rick and Rick, two guys I play golf with. Uh, Christina mm-hmm. Lombardo, friend of my sister, and and like she's like she's a, like a half sister, <laughs> halfway in the family. So congratulations, Chloe and Jay Med. So Jay Med mm-hmm. went to college with with John. Mm-hmm. He started a podcast basically the same time we started. Really, it's. It's early morning, Monday Monday morning. It's mm-hmm. called the Caffeinated Chat. Mm-hmm. And he just sits there and drinks coffee and talks about stuff. Oh, neat. And so neat. I, I was talking to him. He said, maybe we'll do a collaboration one day. Sure, uh, absolutely. So, John, uh, congratulations, all four of you guys. Um, I'll reach out to you on Instagram and get the, uh, the golf ball sent out to you. And with all that taken care of, we can now jump into... The PGA and Senior Tour recap. Nice. I gotta tell nice. you, this podcast has taken a turn that we, we I did not anticipate, but all of a sudden we've become PGA Tour 
the senior tour, or I think they call it the champions yeah, tour, champions analyst tour. out of nowhere. Well, hey, you know, you got a big following out there you know, in my AARP, and uh, you know, I don't know if uh, if everybody knows Phil Mickelson, who was is my main player, who I've been you know uh, for years. Uh, joined the, the PGA, uh, the Championships Tour by default because he didn't get into um, into the uh, FedEx Cup. Right. So uh, he came out smoking hot, as they usually always do, because they're just fresh off the tour. He was just playing, against, and so he, he got to play uh, uh, all the old, the old guys that he used to play with before. He said, he, I saw him last night, uh, ultimately he won. Yeah. Right? So let's just put it, he won by four strokes. Uh, you know, I didn't crazy but he won four strokes and uh bernard langer was up there at the top but i don't think he made the top of the leaderboard uh -huh. so he's now now bernard's like oh dude now i got the now i got one of the best golfers ever yeah up there so uh um funny thing about the um the championships tour um you know a lot of people are, are making a lot of money that, that they hardly made any money way back when and i'm talking 30 years ago right All right and they, they, they the purses weren't that big. Now they're bigger on that on this tour. And I remember um, uh, 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 Jack Nicklaus saying, uh, you know, I don't want to play on that tour. I go, I beat those guys already. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. And I, mean, I might have taken that out of context, so yeah. nothing bad about Jack. But he's like, yeah, I beat those guys already. <laughs> but Phil was good. He's like, yeah, you know, I haven't seen these guys in a while. And, you know, for, for of course, the ones that are, you know, closer to his age. Right. So, so it was cool. I, I don't definitely watch the whole tour. Just got the recap on it. Well, so, it, was, that was it. it was good that Phil, um, he had a great first day. I don't know, the first, the first yeah, day of the yeah, tournament yeah. was Sunday or Monday, whatever, whenever yeah, it was. I think it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I think they played Monday. Oh, it's only it's a, I think it's, it's a three, three days. Three days. So it was definitely Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. He had yeah. a great Monday yeah. round. I think he shot minus 10 or something like mm -hmm. that. He It was... Um, a spectacular yeah, he smoked first on, on round. Monday, Tuesday, good, and Wednesday, good, but not not great um, putting. They, they were even saying, but enough to get it done. Yeah. So congratulations, yeah. Phil. I'm sure yeah. he'll dominate that tour. Uh, he's not going to be there full time. Of course, he'll be back on the main it's tour, probably. But you know, when the when the time comes that he makes the switch, he'll be he'll dominate that tour for a while. Mm. Okay, uh, FedEx Cup. Let's talk about it because yeah. I realized. After the fact, we didn't do our homework. At least I didn't. For mm -hmm. last episode, we did not do a good job hyping up, explaining the format of the FedEx Cup Championship that we're in the middle of right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, there's a lot of details in it, but go ahead. So let's just do a quick recap. So last week's tournament, there, there was a field of 125 players. Yes. Now those golfers, that field is picked by the top 125 ranking golfers with the FedEx Cup points. Right. So that, that that's like the the first round. After last week's tournament, you um, get whittled down to 70 mm -hmm. people in the field for uh, this week's event, and next week it gets down, whittled down to 30. Yep. Um, points, FedEx Cup points, you accumulate them for placing and winning throughout the season. Throughout the season. Last week and this week's points are tripled. So it's like it is paramount to win or at least place high um, in uh, the Northern Trust, and then this week in the BMW yeah. Championship. Yeah. Um, DJ with his win put mm -hmm. him with his win at the Northern Trust put him at the top of the leaderboard, only ninety points um, ahead of Justin Thomas. Yep. Uh, who is, I think combined, I think those two guys are like four hundred points or so ahead of third place and so on, and that's important. And this week is very important for the standings because. The way this works, so after the BMW Championship, we're whittled down to 30 golfers. 30 golfers, right? The top, I believe it's the top 10, the top 10 guys mm -hmm. who, yes, it's right here. The top 10 guys who are ranked after this week mm -hmm. start the following week, which is the, the final week of this tournament. Mm. They start the tournament under par. So they like preload them they with their with, preload with, with them with under par. Wow. So let's just say, for argument's sake, that the standings don't change. Right. And DJ is one. Justin Thomas is two, and so on. DJ would start the tournament at minus ten. Wow. Minus ten. Minus ten. Justin Thomas starts at minus eight, and so on. So you got the top ten guys. It may even be the top five. 
I don't know how it works right, once right. it gets are down really to eight, close. nine, ten. And, and there's only one shot between them. So, so, uh, going, oh, hey. so, so they got to fight for getting those top spots. This well, Basically what I'm saying is this week's tournament is big. They, yeah. they want to win. Yeah. They are. Yeah. Everyone yeah. is gunning for the top spot. Because mm. uh, big payoff. Well, yes. Right? So next week, winner of the FedEx Cup gets $15 million. <sighs> Fifteen million to 15. Oh, to the um, to the winner, and then I think it's five million to second place, four million to third place. So you're still so, cashing so, out. Yeah, big you know, bucks, top, big three, bucks. top three, top um, three places. But with fifteen hundred points being given to mm-hmm. the winner of this championship, because throughout the season you get five hundred points for a win. Right. Things uh, points are tripled, so it's fifteen hundred points. Anybody in the top ten who wins would automatically become number one rank. Right. So right. this is this is oh, wow. a, and let me just number one rank in FedEx. Correct. In FedEx. Right. And right. so down the list, I'll read you the current standings: Dustin Johnson, uh, Justin Thomas, Webb Simpson, Dan Berger, Colin Morikawa, uh, Harris English, Bryson DeChambeau, Sung J M, John Rahm, Patrick Reed. That's top ten. That's top ten currently. Kind of Any end. one of those guys win, mm. they're guaranteed first first place FedEx Cup points going into the final week next week. So interesting. Should be interesting. should be uh, should be fun to watch. Keep Let's, up those top ten. Okay. Just, just so why don't we to make our picks? Why don't we each t- pick one top ten, and then the other the other picks got to be outside the top ten. Okay. Rocks paper scissors best of one gets the. First pick. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah! I'll take DJ. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to do DJ. You know, you know what? No, well, so who's the top 10? To re- read them off. Cause DJ, I just, yeah. Justin Thomas, Webb Simpson, Dan Berger. Yeah, uh, stop. So it's one of those four that I'm t- and three that I'm taking. And I'm, I don't know what. I got a feeling. Webb. He's, he can do it. He, he's right he, there. He certainly can do it. So I'm going with Webb out of the top 10. Okay. And then, okay, so now we need another pick. Another pick. Uh, I'll go with Xander Shoffley. Are you like Shoffley? Yeah. Because well, <laughs> he's good. <laughs> um, you know, I'm going to go. He hasn't really been playing. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm going to go with um, with uh, Bubba Watson. Okay. I want Bubba. All right, good. All right. Excellent. Cool. Um, so good luck to those guys. This should be an exciting tournament, BMW Championship. Great. Starting today, right? I mean, yeah. and, and, and it's only Only 70, 70 in the field. So I think they're starting at 1 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Yeah. You know, I think by 2 o'clock, o'clock, everybody will be teed off. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, cool. It's a cool. Excellent. smaller field. And then next yeah. week, the championship is only 30 golfers. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, that, hey, everybody makes the cut on this week. No one gets cut. Oh, it's, is that how yeah, it works? Yeah, yeah. No matter what. Because no matter what, at least your guy is in. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't mean he could be 20 shots behind. But uh, he, Hey, speaking uh, of, I never got my stake for winning that, ma- that you're, match. You're right. You know, I did I gotta, offer it to I you one cash, time or something. Yeah, I got to cash in on that. that. Yeah, because... Okay. Uh, all right, cool. Four minutes yeah. left. Yes. You told me you have a new segment. I guess, there, I, so, guys, I want to welcome you to the first ever installment of Bob's Beef. I got I got beef. What do you got beef I with? I got beef. So you know we're I'm, I'm been playing golf uh, a little bit, and uh, I'm noticing that uh, nobody's not nobody, but there are a tremendous amount of ball mark and divots on the green not being repaired. So I'm like, you know, did you ever play with Sean? He goes he goes up to the and he's walking around just repairing everybody else's. So, you know, I'll do that too, but not as aggressive, you know. So yeah. anyway, and I love fixing a ball mark because you're playing good if you're hitting the, free, the, the green, right? Yeah. So uh, so when I was, the last time I was playing, I, I noticed somebody, he goes over with his putter and he's like jamming the thing he, and not doing it the right way. Yeah. And then I noticed people that do it aren't doing it correctly. Mm-hmm. So, and, and I, so I got to say about 20 years ago, I remember going to the local course and they handed out this little flyer and says, you know, please fix your ball mark. And here's the proper way. So my beef is fixing ball divot marks on the green. Make sure you fix them. Because the, 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 the theory behind it is if you fix a ball mark properly, within 24 hours, it's recovered. 
Right. And if you go on a green, you see all these little, uh, you know, not dense, but burnt out grass spots because it wasn't done right. Right. So I really think, and then maybe next on our next episode, maybe we could have a little link mm. to how to do a proper ball mark. Yeah. Because, you know, public course, of course, is tough because you're dealing with so many different people. But if you educate them, the people that are coming to the golf course generally are want to do a good job, I think. Yeah. Uh, but you got to educate them the right way. I think, what do you think, I think you hit the nail on the head. Um, I think at a public course, the problem is you have a lot of people who aren't, re- not that they're not real golfers, but they may not have been taught by somebody mm-hmm. who plays golf. They may just be, hey, I want to go learn, I want to go play golf. And you could have a foursome of guys who've never played. And maybe they were never taught the proper way. Yeah. And if no one, if they never got a flyer that said, hey, here's how you do it, mm-hmm. here's why you do it, and there's no pressure why, why why would they know so right. you, i can't blame them because if they weren't taught properly they would have, they have no idea on the flip side at sean's course i do rec- i do recognize how aggressive sean is with fixing the ball marks on the gr- on the green mm-hmm. and he's at a private course i'm surprised at the private course how often there are different mar- b- ball marks i agree on the green I agree. because there there's a sense of ownership it's I mean, when you're a part of a club, people, they, right. they feel it's, it's my club. It's our club. And mm-hmm. we want to take mm-hmm. care of it. We want to maintain it. So I'm, su- so I'm surprised that there's so it many even happens, right? so many ball marks um, on his court. Well, there's a lot of guests that also play. But still, you know, um, it's just amped up a little bit more. And yeah, yeah I love fixing ball marks. Well, it's man. like a badge of honor. It's yeah. like you're walking up there. You want that, that um, ball mark tool, you know, yeah. because that means... If you're fixing your ball marks, that means that you're on the fly dropping the ball from a distance right. on the green. In the green, and, and you're in green in regulation, or at least it's a nice shot. Right. Yeah, you know, and, and take your time doing it. So I really would like to get a good video, and we will look and see in YouTube, say, hey, this is the way to do it. Link to it. Yeah. So that's my beef this week. <laughs> Bob's beef. Okay, so I mean, that's it, it doesn't have to be a reoccurring. Yeah, uh, yeah exactly. Thing, it's just a you, segment every once in a while. As you have beef, I mean, mm. that to me is legitimate beef. Yeah. It's, uh, we got to take care of our take care of the golf courses because it ruined if you don't you're ruining it for the guy behind you yeah so if you mm-hmm. you know if you think about it if everybody in front of you didn't replace their ball marks and now you get up to putt and you have all these craters on the on the green you're going to be pissed yeah so yeah, yeah. do your part and uh fix your ball marks yeah. ladies and gentlemen <laughs> uh and with that we have 15 seconds left so nice thank you again advent golf Details in the video description for how to get 10% off your order. Congratulations to Rick, Rick, John, and Christina on your uh, on your win for the giveaway. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Good luck to the golfers on the uh, FedEx Cup Championship. It should be fun to watch. Excellent. Good luck and enjoy. Cheers.